Hello everyone, we are back to do our new Belgian test. Um, so far, uh, Asheville has not been better than 10.5 or 10.4. Uh, this test is not quite the same as the city driving. You don't have as many people and everything like that. But um, we are going to see how it does. I have notoriously done this two zero disengagement drives before. Um, waiting for the computer to boot up here. Um, I did not upload the video, but last time it swung out way too wide and was like going towards the car parked right here. So that seems to be better with this so far. And there's a car coming out. It, it, um, it braked for it. That's good. That's very good. That's what it should have done. Be courteous. It needs to give more room for this person here. And pressing the accelerator to get it to get over sooner. Okay, it needs to be more confident on this road. This road is so wide open, there's no reason that it needs to creep so so slowly. Okay, so we are good in, oh no we're not. <laughs> I was gonna say we're good to make a right turn. Um, those cars are coming, coming in hot. Let's see if we make this last time. It completely missed this turn. A little bit slow, but made it. Again, I would rather have slow and smooth instead of like fast and completely miss it. You know, uh, it just ooh, we got a van in the middle of the road holy crap it got close to that van so this is going to be a blind test here I can't see there's a car coming from the left nothing from the right we're completely open Let's see if it gets in the correct lane here it's not going to Okay. I'm gonna keep on reporting that until it gets it right. Not once has it ever gotten that right. And now when I'm trying to manually correct it, it still doesn't get it right. So it that's gonna be a disengagement. Uh, I can't even, it doesn't even let me correct it now. I think we are safe to go. Sure, why that blinker is still on? It never turned the blinker off. Now it decides to um, fold the mirrors in and out. Um, well, I actually made that turn very well, considering how close the car was. Um, let's go ahead and park next to the Tesla right here. Oh. Again, every time I've ever been through this parking lot coming up, it's made it every single update. We're gonna jinx it. We're gonna just watch watch it jinx it and not make it this time. Pedestrian priority zone. Oh man, it's always super hesitant in here. I wish it would just not get as fast and then just slow down more smoothly instead of like jamming on the brakes, speeding up, jamming on the brakes, speeding up. And that, that, I think that would greatly improve how smooth everything is 
in these type of environments here. Wait a second. Um, I hate nav. I hate this nav so much. Make one little change, and it's like we're gonna completely change your route. Okay, so it rerouted us automatically. Good. Um, I want waypoints, everyone. This is it's so bad without waypoints. I, if I can just map everything out at the very beginning or halfway through the drive, just cut, do a couple waypoints each time, it'll drastically reduce the number of errors where it has to reroute or anything like that. It just needs to stop overreacting. I think that's, that's, a, that's, that's a good word to do it. It is overreacting to pedestrians. And it's very, very, um, um, not smooth. It's very jerky when it does that. It stops so far back and like there's not even like there's literally they could be running towards me and I could stop that quickly and it's like it still wouldn't hit them. It'd be even anywhere close to hitting them. It's just We're gonna go through this yellow light because I don't want to wait here. Look, I'm letting it do this. Why did it stop here after we went through the light? Why is it just deciding to stop? And, and apparently it has logic that it is always okay to pass buses. Um, so we can't enable it because the bus is in the way. Trying to get in the wrong lane here because it wants to move away from the cones. The bike lane and the cones really mess it up here. Well, that. Okay. I wanted to just drink some water. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Uh, I was gonna go right into the curb right there. Last time we did this route, it was dark. And um, it still decided, hey, we're just gonna go into the curb. Um, even though it's nice and bright outside. Not really close to the curb on the left too. It's gotta probably jam on the brakes for the yield sign again. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding, okay, I'm, no, I'm, I'm holding it how it should go through here. It should slow down Okay, I'm just gonna t make it do what it should be doing. This this fast, right here, there you go. Okay, there, per great. Well, as long as I held down the accelerator to tell it, give it confidence, it did well. The last time we came through here, it was about to run into a car. Um, it just didn't see the car coming. I don't know why this car decided to stop. Oh. That is the... F I have not had a train. There's a train coming from the left. I have not had a train um, crossing for a very, very long time. I think once or twice ever before when I've been driving. Twice, I think. Uh, I haven't had a lane cross, uh, train crossing for a very long time. Uh, it actually is not all the way to the um, to the, the sign here. I'm not gonna count that disengagement because it was f fine. I just was being picky because it was a truck. Well, that wasn't that wasn't disengagement. The train's getting pissed at me. Wow. Okay, clearly it well it thinks it's a bus. That's right. Okay, we're just gonna keep it disabled. Yeah, we're gonna do another snapshot. That's gonna be the title of this video. Can it handle trains, I guess. <laughs> and as you can find now, it can't. Um, it was gonna stop for the red lights. I think I messed it up. I'm curious if it would've done it all the way through. 
But now that I was past the red lights right there, you can't see the lights um, blinking. That is not good to go through. We're going to be stopped here for a while. <laughs> Okay, everyone. This is stop. This is straight up stopping here. Okay, uh, I'm turning around. Um, we are gonna go back straight to New Belgium because uh, I'm not waiting for this. The train goes all the way down the left, and this is so. This is a pure edge case. Uh, well, we're gonna go this way then. Um, <laughs> Where you can't decide to go around. Have you, have you ta ro what would a robo taxi do there? Think about that. Would it try and um? Would it turn around like I did? Would it just wait? What if the train actually got stuck there and like it, like literally got? Sure what he was doing. Also, hand gestures. Look at that. That guy gave me a hand gesture. I didn't see it the first time. I guaranteed you the car doesn't see that. Um, I guarantee you the car did not see a hand gesture. Should not go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to let this lady go. go. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, everyone, so this, this definitely, this was a real couple educations all at once. Um, yeah, so I wasn't going to wait for that train. Um, so we're, this route's going to be a little bit different. This person... No F's given. Absolutely no F's given. Yeah, the really? Uh, we're gonna slow down. I don't like it going that fast. Okay, well, not, uh, obviously not consistent with her other drives, but obviously this was not a good drive, everyone. I'm not a, not a fan. Um, if you can see it, the train is still going by. I was not going to wait for that, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I, this is, uh, that was a good one. I'm glad we did this test, though. Um, first time ever getting stuck by a train in a very long time. First time, well, second time with the Tesla. Uh, first time in full self-driving beta. And, um, yeah, and then we got a guy that goes per perpendicular to the road. Um, uh, right after that, so... Uh, clearly a lot of edge case material uh, yeah I appreciate everyone watching if you made it this far please let me know down below in the comments I really appreciate you sticking it out this long and seeing what uh, I have to offer uh, if I if you found this content interesting at all or just want to support me go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe button down below I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video thanks everyone